Hello, I'm JW. Uh, this time, just have a quick look at some uh, lamps which I've obtained from an eBay seller. And uh, here's a look at the listing. And as you see, here they are. They are very cheap items. They're one pound eighty, and available in three sizes: three, five, or seven watts. And the deal is that uh, basically mains power things to twenty volts, and they change colour, as you can see in the picture there. Now I've actually got four of these, and they were the five watt option which was selected when we purchased these. Now, uh, whether they're 5 watts or not uh, remains to be seen, but uh, somehow I doubt it very much, especially for the price that they are. Now, here are the things uh, which has arrived. And uh, bearing in mind, I bought four of these, which were the same, but they actually come in two different types of box. There's these ones, which have these uh, fairly robust cardboard boxes. Super bright, high power. Well, we'll uh, see about that later. And these have labels on the top here, which say LED 5 watt RGB and some of other stuff, which is fairly reasonable as that's what was purchased. And then the two of them came in these horrid boxes, which are literally uh, basically paper folded together. And these have uh, a variety of markings on, most of which are not actually filled in. This one here has 9 watt marked on there, but on the bottom it has a thing that says 7 watts RGB LED. Bearing in mind those say 5. This has no label. And this just has a 27 mark there, and that's basically it. So a bit of a uh, shambles in terms of the packaging, but here are the actual things, and uh, they are actually all the same regardless of what the uh, boxes and things might actually say. So uh, there's two there, and then the two in these are the same as well. And these also have things on the side where you can mark what's what, but again, those haven't been marked either. So it just seems any old boxes will do. They're probably not the boxes specifically for these items. Now I've actually got these to use for something else. They're not going to be used in this form. They're going to be dismantled and taking the middles out. And they're going to another project which uh, hopefully we'll be seeing in a couple of weeks time once some other things have arrived to go with them. But uh, for the moment let's just uh, plug these in and see if they a work and of course how much power they actually use. Now to test these we'll use this device here which uh, we've seen in other videos and this is actually what it's designed for with the uh, lamp holder on the top. Now in the what case of uh, interest on here is the actual power it's going to use and of course the uh, current as well which is shown down here. Voltage about 244 or just under 245. Now bearing in mind these things were sold as 5 watt uh, versions. I uh, doubt that they're going to be 5 watts. But to say it doesn't actually matter as long as the things actually light up and uh, do their colour changing thing. So let's just uh, stuff that in there. Let's turn off these other lights here. Well, the thing certainly changes colour, and that's sort of a pink colour there. Not how well that's going to show up on the camera, but uh, nevertheless, it is changing colour and doing its thing. But uh, power rating wise, we've got here 0.75 watts there. So, of course, that's clearly very far away from 5. And so it's about 0.8 because it will vary depending on which colours are actually being used there. So just under one watt, clearly not five. So that one seems to work. So let's just uh, quickly uh, check the others. Yep, that seems to work as well. And again, we're showing in that sort of 0.85 watts uh, for that particular one. And again, it seems to uh, go through the various colours as you would expect. So, uh, sort of 0 0.9, 0 0.8 watts kind of area. And no doubt the other two are pretty much the same kind of deal. Yep, pretty much the same. So, about 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 watts, depending on which colour is displayed. Now these things are supposed to sort of randomly cycle through various colours and uh, that's what they uh, certainly appear to be doing. That's fine. And uh, say so these are actually going to be used in something else, but uh, we can't see the rest of that because certain other parts are required as well. So just waiting for those to show up. And that one there again, 0.8 watts or so, so uh, seems fairly consistent. Now, so I don't actually want to use these at all, I just want to uh, use the parts inside. So. Let's see if we can undo these and find out what's contained within. Well, they certainly don't unscrew, so... Right, well, it seems the lid just uh, clips in there, plastic, and inside just got this single circuit board here. 
bolt on the back there, just a uh, capacitor there and a couple of uh, electrolytics there, so capacitive dropper type of arrangement. And uh, so we'll just see what the uh, ratings are there. Well, at least it's 400 volts uh, variety, which is fine for the main supply here. Single sided board, this looks like just normal uh, circuit board material, so not uh, aluminium covered or anything. And on the top here, we've just got these uh, RGB LEDs there, so uh, what, 10 of those. And in the centre here, we've got uh, presumably bridge rectifier, and basically just one chip there, which uh, appears to have no markings on it whatsoever, so totally anonymous. And we can possibly just about see the tracks on that. They're all uh, basically wired round in parallel, so it's just the red, green, and blue going round in a circle. Three little uh, units there just to drive the whole lot, so presumably three transistors. So uh, pretty basic then, it's just going to be the mains in rectified, a couple of capacitors there for smoothing, and then this chip is just the thing which uh, drives the whole lot, and so unfortunately there seems to be no markings on it of any kind. And uh, yeah, it may not be able to see on the camera, but the traces come out, go through these uh, three resistors here, presumably just to those three components there, which presumably are transistors, and then the outputs of those, uh, each three, one for the red, green, and blue, comes across here, and then just basically goes round in a circle to all of the ten LED chips there. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. So uh, hardly surprising they're not actually going to be putting out five watts, because these little 50-50 uh, ones are the same as is used on the LED tape you can get to sort of stick under covers and whatever. So individually these are fairly low power. But that's fine because say, we don't want things to be running at uh, massive high power. And bearing in mind I've got uh, four of these anyhow because uh, these are going to be all taken out and uh, put into something else. Now we'll just screw this in here in a dangerous fashion so we can see what it looks like without the diffusing bit on top. So there we go, as expected they uh, light up fairly well. In terms of brightness they look uh, reasonably bright in terms of uh, what you'd expect those things to look like, certainly in terms of the uh, LED tape and whatever. And uh, I'll just adjust the uh, camera because it's obviously uh, also compensating for that. So there we go, that's a bit uh, near the actual colours that uh, this thing is creating. And it seems to have a variety of disturbing modes there, that's sort of a high speed flashing, and then the uh, various speeds sort of ramping up, and then it goes into this sort of just random not quite random, that cycles through all of the basic colour combinations. And then it also has that sort of fading in and out thing which we saw with the globe on the top. So that's some uh, cheapo LED lights there from uh, China, and say about one pound eighty each. And that includes delivery of course, so uh, basically less than the price of the actual delivery if we were sending such a thing like that from the UK. And it looks to be the, uh, say, 50-50 LEDs is on that LED tape. And it's probable that the driver chip on those is actually the same one that you get with the controllers that are supplied with that type of tape. It's the one where you get that little credit card size remote control and has various functions on it. Although in this case it's presumably just been set to run automatically and just cycle through all of the various colours and patterns. And so these are for something else which hopefully we're looking at in a couple of weeks' time once various other components have arrived, mostly from China as well. But until next time, thanks for watching.